Cabinet, following a weekend meeting, announced that it will be moving ahead to form the national asset management company Namco, into which will be paid the dividends from the West Indies Oil Company, National Housing, State Insurance and the Caribbean Union Bank. Prime Minister Gaston Brown only recently announced that government will be receiving a dividend payment of some $7 million from the West Indies Oil Company as a result of its acquisition of controlling shares in that company. Namco will also manage the returns from several joint venture companies government has established with hotel owners and any other venture capital firms with which government may partner in the future. Namco, in other words, would be the holding company into which all of the state's investments in private enterprises and annual dividend payments would be channeled. Three cabinet ministers and two private sector representatives will sit on the board. During Monday's post-cabinet press briefing, Minister of Social Transformation, Samantha Marshall, says she does not expect any delay in moving the process forward. In terms of timelines, we are looking for that to happen as soon as possible, and I believe arrangements will be made today by the um, Attorney General's office to ensure that the name for the company and the setting up of the company is secured. Namco is also expected to become an investment vehicle for small investors who would likely receive two or three times the amount now paid annually from savings accounts. The government says Namco's investments would enable small investors to stay ahead of any likely inflation, invest in a handful of successful enterprises with little risk, and fulfill the national dream of building an economic powerhouse together. Andy Library reporting for ABS News.